I ask that there will be light this morning in the name of Jesus. This morning, I want to talk about 10 things. This product called woman that you have in your hands that God gave to you in marriage. How do I handle this product? How do I cooperate with the manufacturer so that this product can benefit me? Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 to 4. What does a woman need in marriage? Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. Not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interests of the other. Genuine, unconditional love has no ulterior motive. Yet, you have to know each other at the core of your gender identity. Men and women have different and specific needs when it comes to marriage. The understanding of these truths will make your marriage free from the stress that others may be experiencing. And I pray that your marriage will overcome in the name of Jesus. Number one, 10 things that women need in marriage. Do you know the need of a woman? Do you know what her need is? This particular product that you went to purchase with your money in marriage, it is known that a woman likes to be appreciated. She's significant and she should be treated as a treasure. First Peter chapter 3, verse 7. It says, In the same way, you husbands must give honor to your wives. That's the manufacturer's intention. You must give honor to your wives. Treat your wife with understanding as you live together. She may be weaker than you, but she is your equal partner in God's gift of new life. Treat her as you should so that your prayers will not be hindered. Every woman wants to be treated with honor. And that is what her manufacturer intended for her when he gave her to you. What you hold in high esteem, you regard with respect. You hold up very high. You give the woman the honor that she deserves. If you are going to handle these products that God gave to you, and the product will give you back what the manufacturer intended, to be your helper, to be a, a partner suitable to you, then you must give this woman honor. That is what the manufacturer's manual says. And I said, how do you honor your wife when you hold her with high esteem? You don't talk down on her anyhow. Some men like to talk down on their wives, especially in public. Whether in public or in private, the Bible says you should treat your partner with honor. The Bible says you should honor that woman. Give her the respect that she deserves. When you disrespect your wife like that, you disrespect also yourself and disrespect the marriage institution. The manufacturer gave her to you. He wants you to honor her. Praise God. Number two, the woman needs intimacy. When your wife is stressed out and overwhelmed from putting out fires all day while trying to meet that important meal, deadline, and all the work she does, she needs to know that you are willing to share an intimate moment of comfort without demanding explanation or giving lectures. In other words, don't fix her. Lend an ear and let her process it. Sometimes some men come back from work and your wife is saying, ah, honey, I'm tired today. In fact, I've been working and the man says, what have you done? Did you go anywhere? Just to stay in this house from morning to night, you say you're tired. What work is in this house? But tell the man to stay in the house with the children. She's going out just for two hours. When are you coming back? Make sure you come back on time. You cannot just leave me like that in the house with you. Or you go with the children. <laughs> She leaves them with you for two hours. She comes back, you are fagged out. But she has stayed with them for hours from morning till evening. The house is clean. Food is cooked. Your bedroom neat. Everywhere clean. You come back and she's telling you, oh, sweetheart, I'm tired. All she wants at that moment is to say, God bless you, my wife. In fact, when I came, I saw the room. Everywhere is clean. Sometimes I wonder how you manage. Especially with the children. The Lord bless you. I think you need to rest. Just, just relax. God bless you. Let's appreciate 
our spouses. Praise God. Number three, she needs you to be open. Open communication is highly important to the woman. Very, very important to the woman that she knows that you are emotionally available to her. Don't, don't close up from your wife. They used to say that men die early because they close up a lot of things. They close up, they are not open to their wives. Do you know that sometimes even something as small as a temptation to adultery or fornication, if you can even share it with your wife, she can help you. Do you know that? She can help you. I pray that God will help us, the women, to be matured. If your husband is open enough to tell you the way he's feeling, may God help you to be matured enough to help him to handle it. Hallelujah. Because it is the way you help him to handle it that will determine whether he will open up to you next time. Hallelujah. So the women need the men to be more open. Praise God. So the women need us to be, let's be open. The Bible says the man and the wife, they were naked. And nothing is hidden. Anytime you discover that there are many things you are hiding, there's a problem. Do you know that there are men that have assets in places that their wife don't know anything about? They are sneaking to the place. You have one house here. You have one land there. You have one. God forbid, bam, something happened. Strangers, we encroach into that place. All these things you say you are laboring for. Psh. Even your children will suffer. Because nobody got to know about those things. You were just keeping it to yourself. So if we can be more open, this product God gave you will fulfill her function of being a suitable helper. Number four, she needs to be praised. Make it a habit to often acknowledge and praise her for her work and her accomplishments so she can feel like she is a valuable part of your life. She can feel that she's a valuable part of your life. Many men find it difficult to praise their wives. As if praising your wife is removing your blood. But you praise other women. You appreciate other women. The same thing you are appreciating another woman you cannot appreciate your wife. If you talk, you say, no, 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 it's fine. Sometimes, you know, a simple, I'm grateful. I like your hairstyle. This dress you are wearing today is just awesome. The work the woman, the manufacturer intended the woman to do in your life is the work of the Holy Spirit. As the Holy Spirit is to the church, so the wife is to her husband. Why do I say so? The Holy Spirit is called the helper. Is it not so? Is it not so? The Holy Spirit is the helper Jesus gave to the church when he was going. He said, I am going and I'm going to send you a comforter. I'm going to send you a helper who will help you in your Christian life. Then the same God again say, I'm going to give you the man a helper. So the work of the Holy Spirit to the church is like the work of the wife to her husband. The day you understand that, when they give you a helper to assist you, what do you normally tell your assistants? Please answer me. What do you tell your assistants? Thank you. It's not their work. They're only assisting you. What if they didn't do it? Any leader that can say thank you, thank you, thank you to his assistants, you will have plenty of assistants. Even when you are not calling them, you will be seeing them. Is there anything I can help you do? Is, is there anything? Because you don't, and you don't only say the thanks. Sometimes you give the thanks. You give thanks. If you can do that one, you see this product God gave you to be excellent. Sometimes all your wife needs is just a simple thank you. My wife, I'm grateful. May God help us in Jesus' name. So women like to be appreciated. Let her be part of your team. Your wife needs to feel free to help you and to contribute to the things that matter to you without any feeling of uh, you feeling angry that she's trying to become part of your team. Every man has a team. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman wants to be part of your team. So it is you that will have to hold her hands and carry her along. Daddy said something the other day. He said, any man that does not allow his wife to rise, the day you, the man, you fall, you will fall to her level. Every woman that has risen here, you better celebrate your husband. Don't take him for granted. I'm standing here this morning now because daddy gave me the opportunity. If you have not said, come and share something, I'll be sitting down there with everything that I know. No, my world will not hear me. But you see, every man 
who is going to give this generation a Deborah must become a Lapidot. Without a Lapidot, there can never be a Deborah. Sometimes you can talk her down. Your wife is trying to talk, you are laughing. You call her names, you make her look feel stupid, dishonor her, disrespect her. Even the small grace she carried to your house when this product was handed to you, today she doesn't even know who she is again. Talk, you say, shut up. Other women are talking, you are also opening your mouth. When you go there, shh. Abba. What you are doing, you are also killing your own glory. Make your wife a member of your team. If your wife is a member of your team, a good woman, that team can never die. Women, am I talking? No woman wants to see the death of her husband. She will fight with the, every fiber of her being to make sure that her husband is standing. Hallelujah. So make your wife a member of your team. Let her be involved in whatever you are doing. Don't lock her out. Don't keep her out. Hallelujah. Praise God. Number six. Number six now, she needs you to protect and to defend her. Not just from physical harm, but from criticism of others. She wants to know that you are there for her and she has your, you are at her back. Protect her from criticism. There are some men here. Their in-laws will come to their house and beat up their wife. And they won't say anything. The wife is talking, saying, hey, you deserve it. When you do that to a woman, you have told her that she should go and look for other support system, other support, this thing, that you cannot defend her and you cannot support her. Sometimes, even if you have something to tell her, not in front of people yet, in front of people stand with her. When they go, you can now call her and say, my wife, come and sit down. You see that thing you just did now? It's wrong. But in front of people, you people should put up a front. Some people, even right in front of their children, your son will slap your wife in front of you and you say you deserve it he, say, he slap yourself one if i was there he would have given you four chine do well done you don't know that what you have succeeded in doing your wife and you the person that slapped your wife just slap you the person that insulted your wife just insulted you hallelujah then make her feel like her opinion counts she needs to know that her opinion is so valuable about your work or business that you will discuss decisions with her and act only after carefully evaluating her advice. Sometimes the man thinks that the opinion of the wife doesn't matter. So he just takes decisions, he's the alpha and the omega. He just come and download it for her. We are going to do this, 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 this and this. The woman tried to talk, you tell her to shut up. Okay, since the decision is yours, let's be going. By the time you now hit a brick wall, it's too late because you never carried her along when you were trying to make these very important decisions concerning your life, concerning your work and the things you want to do. Hallelujah. Sometimes, even if you are not going to use what she will say, call her, let her feel important. Ask her, what do you think? This is what I want to do. In your mind, though, you know what you want to do, but at least give her the feeling that her opinion matters. But your wife tried to talk, you don't laugh. The next time, she feels embarrassed. So you are talking, she's just looking. And she's seeing this thing that is not going to work. She will not talk again. So let us give our wives the privilege. Share your life with her. She needs to connect with you in a special way. So create margin so she can share her own life with you. At home and at work. Sometimes you can ask her to just visit your office for no reason just come around and joyfully oh have you met my wife before this is my wife and she sees that you are happy to introduce her not that you are telling her if you come stand at the gate just call me on phone i'll come and meet you there the wife will begin to wonder is it that he's not proud of me so women like it when you include us in your work finally hold her often she needs physical affection to be tenderly held just to be near you apart from times of sexual intimacy sometimes the only time men touch their wife is in the night you have been seeing her since morning you didn't see anything good morning good morning how are you fine welcome welcome then in the night you say how far <laughs> how far <laughs> then the woman will answer you very far let the touching start from the morning. 
Love starts in the kitchen. She's in the kitchen washing plates. You come, you do her like this. She's in the kitchen, come, you do her like this. Women are small girls inside big clothes. The baby girl of yesterday just wore a big dress. So they want to be appreciated. But a lot of men don't do it in the night. You say, you even call her by her, Asabe. <laughs> Asabe, come. Come to where? <laughs> My body is paining me. It is weird. Well. <laughs>